Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. With the features available in Publisher's Mailings tab, you can create publications to perform automated mailings. When you use the Mail Merge feature in Publisher, you merge information from a table called a data source into designated fields within your publication. For each record or row within the table, you will typically produce one copy of the publication. For example, if you had a table that contained the names and addresses of customers, you could create a publication, like an envelope for example, that would display the name and address of each customer on its face. Using this example, you create a single envelope publication and place a data field for the name and other data fields for the addresses into the envelope. You can then merge the table data into the publication to produce one envelope for each record in the table. Obviously, this can save a lot of time and money in creating mailings for situations such as these. Also, while this example uses an envelope as the publication type, you can also create letters, emails, labels, and catalogs using this feature. Publisher can also use several different types of data sources. You could use an Excel spreadsheet or an Access Database table as your data source for a merge publication, making this feature very useful when combined with the other Microsoft Office applications. To perform a mail merge, you would first create a mail merge publication. Then you will choose a data source for the publication. In the mail merge publication, you then enter the static or unchanging information. For example, entering your return address for each envelope. This is an example of static information. You then insert your merge fields into the publication. The merge fields represent the location in the publication where you want the information from the data source to appear. Using the envelope example, you would insert fields for the customer's name as well as their mailing address. Finally, you merge the information from the data source into the merge publication. This often results in a separate publication being created, the output of the mail merge, if you will. This is often what happens when you need to make individual changes to each copy created. Often this output publication is discarded after you have finished printing it. However, you should always save the data source and the original merge publication. That way, in the future, you can recreate the mail merge using the original merge publication and its associated data source. Each time that you perform a merge, you send the results of the merge directly to a printer or to a new output publication for editing. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.